Hi everybody, this is Robin. I'm here with Juicy. We are starting this tutorial with a pink and a blue and um, a bubblegum pink and a dark blue with pink of, of glitter in it. And now I have all my paints out. Now, okay, so you're going to have to excuse the noise because Baby J is on fire. He's teething. Boom. So, anyways, um, I have all these colors out, and I'm going to do a retro-ish type of thing. And um, it might be a little bit uh, Valentine-y. It might be just a little bit retro. It might be a little bit of Cardi B. A little, a little bit, just a little bit of everything. But mostly stuff that will get you going and get you doing nails right now quickly and something fun. I'm mixing the neon pink with the black and getting a gray pink right here. And then I'm taking this nail. Let me zoom in. And I gotta work kind of fast right now. So, so with the with the um, the dark color, I'm going in like this, like that, and then um, going like this. Like that, okay? And gracias, juicy. <laughs> Multitasking. We're making it work. Mm hmm. We are. We're going to try to make it work. And you know what? That's what makes my job fun to me, is because sometimes, like, juicy drives how many hours? Like three, three, three four nine. hours, yeah, yeah. To, to get here and, and get her nails done. And so, you know what? We set aside time for you guys so that you guys can see me decorate nails that are long. And, and you know, we put up with a baby because that's what happened. <laughs> and I love that's, the baby. Yeah, that's what definitely happened. <laughs> and I love the baby. Actually, that's like my favorite baby for, like, I love him. But he's bad right now. He's teething. So, there's this, okay? Now, I'm going to work around that later, but this is neon pink with a little bit of white. And... Jay Sean. This with the lighter color and see how it starts to like come out. Then with white, you drop it in and then pull it up like this. And that gives it dimension and starts to make it look like drips. So let me finish this out and meet you back. Okay, so on these two, I mean on the blue ones, I'm going to write dripping in finesse and I really like the idea of all these retro colors and um, I love that they're coming back out. If if you search Robin Moses 90s, Robin Moses retro, etc. I have a bunch of retro-ish designs that I've done but I really like this uh, in living color vibe that's going down. You juice? Mm-hmm. Gee. Okay, just get that in there and scratched in. You can fix all of it later. And then I'm going to add like a block of green. This, this. Um, I'll do like a triangle. And when it dries, it's going to be kind of like see-through. So if you so if you want um, one that isn't that way, then you add just a little bit of white, like this. No. And this boy. You should have seen what he did to my bathroom. <laughs> okay, so like that. Okay, I'm gonna finish it. This. Okay, then in will be blue. Okay, dripping, and then I'll do in block letters, bam, dripping in. Oh my god, Juicy, your mm -hmm. nails are so tapered on the ends. Mm -hmm. What is going down with that? Can you, would you like to talk about it? <laughs> would you like to go into detail? Why the change in shape? It's not flattering. Do you find it flattering right now? Yeah. Especially with my long, long nails. I'm not ready for that stiletto yet. 
I'm gonna break the tips off way too easily. Thank you. And you're gonna poke me and everybody in my world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's that. <laughs> I'm so stupid, but okay, so there's that. Now, on this one, Jay Sean! Baby boy. We're live right now, buddy. He loves me. So I'm gonna do some hearts like this in the middle of some of this uh, dripping, like that. Just a few, and then, um, okay, now I'm gonna finish, but this one's gonna say finesse. Do you want a capital, do you want a, a, a scrolled F or do you want a written F? Like more blocky? Yeah. Probably more like blocky. Like this? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back in with my pretty blue. Mm. All right. So I have like, um, okay, so Jay Sean's falling asleep a little tiny bit. So anyways, um, I'm just got this, the, the lighter blue and I'm going over the top of the, the blue because it went uh, uh, transparent. And whenever a color goes transparent, you add a little bit of white, and um, it'll come in much better. And for those of you guys who don't know, I get all of my craft paints at um, the craft store, at Michael's or um, Walmart. They're all a dollar a piece, and then you can you can decorate your nails inexpensively while you practice. Then once you get your your stuff together and you know what you're doing a little better, then you can expand You can expand upon what you have and what you want and stuff like that and invest in more luxury items. But if you guys know somebody starting out and they just want to learn this, then show them my channel and get them started inexpensively and see if this is something that they could do. So there's this. And um, now, on the, on the hearts, because it's that time of year, I'm going to, I'm going to write, like, write, like, as if, and, and I'll do, like, little tiny, like, you know, LOL and stuff like that on the, um, on the hearts, and that just takes time and patience of learning how to write on nails, and, um, I'll show you one or two, but because we're so strapped down, I would rather see you, I would rather show you how to do the drippies, so the drippies, this would be, what would this be called? the next edition of drip, drippies because they drip down the whole like wall. Melty. Yeah, melties. <laughs> so um it goes like this and then drop 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 and then drop. Now, on the on the on the other ones, I can highlight some of these. And you could also go and do everything white first. And if you do everything white and then top coat with, I mean, the, and then paint over it with really sheer neons, then you have that um, glowy effect, that that neon uh, sign effect. I'm really not in the mood to do that right now. I've seen I've seen a lot of it happening right now, and I like it, but I I, I don't. I don't want to, I want to just be my own channel. Right. <laughs> this is Robin Moses Nail Art. Yeah, and this is how I've done it, and this is how I do it, and this is how I'm going to do it. And right now, it's it, it really feels good. Like, every time I tape a video, it feels at least I'm being me. And I'm not doing what YouTube is telling me to do. Oh, my God, this little shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Juicy just cussed and he just smiled at me. Oh my god, he totally just won. <laughs> Jay Sean, did you win? Yes, he did. Oh my god, she cussed and he smiled at me. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Oh. Jay Sean! <laughs> oh! Hold on. He just, he just got paint all over Juicy's face. I should take a picture. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to go around each of these uh, hearts that I do. With a white line, and I'm gonna I'm gonna vary the degree of how thick and thin it is. I'm gonna push the thick lines in like this, and then pull up for thin lines, and then push, and then pull and push, so that each one has its own little uh, uh, specific line around it, and and the the lines were like all exact and perfect. But I think that. On my channel, I want to show you more than anything that doing your best and getting it done on time is is more important in the long run than um, having everything perfect long term. 
So I'm going to go in because I have clients that get their nails done perfectly every time. They always come in, they're quiet, they're on time, and, and there's a certain degree that I keep their nails. And then if you're, if you're rushing, you can still do a good job. But if you fall behind, if like, if I let this fall, make me fall behind for my next client, that affects my, uh, my business. So I keep it. I'm always looking at the clock, like how much time do I have? What can I, what can I make in that amount of time that will be uh, cute and beneficial and do everything I want it to do without making me an hour behind or even 15 minutes behind. Some people can't wait that long. So I think that's more important on my channel. If you have ideas that you would like to see that um, you think would be important for you and, um, and you guys thumbs them up and I see them, I will absolutely do them. Um, I try, I'm going to try harder though to just tell you what will keep your clients happy and make you money so that you can stay in business because most of the people that I ever worked with stopped doing nails after the first year. So here is the first layer. I'm gonna finish this up like that and outline each heart and then highlight each uh, drip and I'll meet you back. And then tap and tap. And make like little hashtaggy kind of things through the design like this just to make it look like it's like it's harder than it looks and this this is something that you learn um, over time like it's it's like so effective to fill gaps in like especially if you're doing something retro because it all comes together so if you so if you have an open area like this and you just need to fill it in then you go and you make it like this and then put a little blue, and then boom, boom, put a little blue, boom, boom. And all it does is it fills the area in without taking up a ton of time, and it gives you a look of retro without it being really, really hard. And it kind of makes everything come together and look more professional. So if you have big, open, empty areas, and you're doing retro nails. This is super time saving. And maybe you just want to do pink nails with this on top of it. Totally acceptable and doable. And um, if that's what you come away with doing on this, on this video, it is a huge, awesome thing that you can do. So it takes your, your little, the nails to the next level up because these are retro times a thousand. Okay, so I have the glitter out and Juicy tucked me into hollow glitter because it is the retro thing and I was unaware. So I have um, my hollow glitter that I got at Rite Aid for $1.99 and I put top coat on from Wet n Wild and I'm going in with geometric shapes and stripes in the areas of uh, uh, negative space and just filling in little pieces here and there and adding some bling. Now, I don't want to put too much bling because then they're going to look extra, uh, well, um, I can't say gaudy at this point, <laughs> but... <laughs> But I just want them to accent the nails to make them look like festive. I want them to look like uh, Saved by the Bell meets uh, In Living Color meets like the coolest retro 90s design. So in the 90s, this is exactly what I painted. Like like the, the all of it, all of it. The conversation hearts, the lightning bolts, the bubblegum drips, the... Um, everything the the line the line work mixed with the bright colors so so just just when you're trying to paint stuff like this just think happy and then and then lots of different um, design patterns and what you can do is look up design clip art des pattern clip art and just look up the patterns that you feel comfortable doing and um, 
just try one at a time. Like one time just do like little lines uh, up and down like this and the next time try to, to, to string them out. It's much easier when you have a brush that works well. So if your brush is messing up on you, get them. At, uh, get the ones that I made for all my tutorials that you see here at robinmosesnailart.com. I used the wand for this entire tutorial and for most of my tutorials online. I try to say that in every video and in every video I get a lot of questions where I get my brushes so if anybody sees the questions can you please answer for me? This will be in the Diva playlist. I would usually put this in a in the cute playlist but no absolutely or or the hot playlist but this is going in the diva this is diva retro so you see here if I wanted to I have this really thick right here I have it medium thick here I can make it real light thick right here sorry my phone my uh, camera went off but see how it barely glitters in the middle that's just because I added more uh, top coat to it and you can do a couple of the hearts like that just a slightly glitter and um, okay so I'll do that and meet you back okay so I don't know what kind of design this is going to be on film but in real life this is freaking awesome so I am going to let Juicy show you guys each nail it's dripping in finesse which is uh, I moved a little. So I'm going to let you do the... the Michelle? Do you Michelle? Wanna, like, I don't know. Look at They look really nice. So I'm going to let you... What do you think about the, the light juice? Um, I don't like that color. Okay, tell me uh, one. Um, I like, yeah. Yeah, I okay. I like that. All it looks right. more bright like so, it is. Anyway, show them the hearts and the little... The, and just the little... Um, like... Um, the little arrows, the swirls, the spirals, the lines, the glitter, the hearts. It's a it's a Valentine's um, design, but it is also year-round and very retro. It is inspired by um, the music video called... Uh, finesse. Yeah, Finesse, and that was Juicy's jam right now. It is. So, anyways, I'll have pictures up on my blog and everywhere. Please subscribe. Please share this. Please try them and show me by hashtagging Inspired by Robin Moses. And get brushes at RobinMosesNailArt.com. Am I forgetting anything, Josie? You keep me in line. No, you're on it. Hey! Tell me if you like the new shape. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's yeah. noticed thumbs the gradual. Up. Thumbs up the new shape. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't have a particular favorite shape. I like doing nails and nail art, so shape is like secondary to me. Right. So for anybody who's like a shape uh, person, it's like a sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like things to be perfect, and then that's it. I go to the, I go to the art. Anyways, you guys, everybody have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.